So, I was super smart today and decided to go to Costco. And the only bad part is my cart was so full. So then I realized, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit it all in my car. So now it's raining and I'm gonna have to carry everything upstairs. My neighbor's gonna think I'm crazy. I'm gonna have to carry everything upstairs by myself, but let me just show you what I'm working with. I am doing a month monthly haul from Costco. So here's what it looks like. This is my trunk, jam-packed, full of food. And there's some stuff on my back seat that didn't fit in the trunk, but I think I'm a pretty good trunk organizer. But since my husband's injured, I have to get all of this stuff from Costco upstairs, which is not going to be fun, but let me show you what I got. All right, so it took about six trips to my car and to my apartment to get everything upstairs, and now it's going to be annoying <laughs> to put everything away. But the plan for this month is normally we have a grocery budget of $250 for the month. But every couple of months, we do go to Costco and stock up on some of the things that we love from Costco. And I will point those things out to you as I go through my haul. So on the months that we go to Costco, we usually spend about $50 more just because we buy things um, in bulk that will last more than a month. So our budget for this month is $300. And we spent... We spent $239, so that leaves us $61 for the rest of the month to fill in things as needed like milk or eggs or any produce that we run out of. So this haul, which is a huge haul, was $239 and our monthly budget for this month is $300 for a family of four, so let me show you what we got. So we're going to do a tour of my kitchen as we go through all of this because there's a lot of stuff. This is a huge haul. Um, it is for a whole month, so let's start with the produce. The romaine hearts was $2.99, and that was for six, a pack of six, so it's equivalent to the price at Aldi. Um, these blueberries were a great price. It was $6.99, and this is five pounds of blueberries, so it only ends up being like a dollar, less than a dollar fifty a pound of blueberries, which is a really great price. My kids love these blueberries frozen. They call them blueberry ice, and they like it for dessert or a snack, so these blueberries were a great deal. The next deal we did was the strawberries. They smell really, really good. Um, that was two pounds. And let me see, they were $2.99. Oh no, $4.49. So it was $2.25 a pound of stra for strawberries, which isn't fantastic, but they smelled really good. And for all the fruit, that was the best deal. Um, the next thing we did was my husband wanted these French green beans or like the long style green beans. Oh yeah, French green beans. It was $5 for two pounds, so it was $2.50 a pound. The next thing we got was this fresh broccoli florets, and that was five pounds, and it was $4.49, so it's less than, a, oh no, three pounds. I'm sorry, this has been a long day. Three pounds for $4.49, so a little over a dollar a pound for broccoli florets, which I eat a ton of broccoli, so we're definitely gonna eat that. These um, organic baby carrots, these were five pounds. And they were $4.99, so about $0.99 cents a pound, which is a great deal. Um, this um, frozen super sweet white corn, um, it's organic, but, I mean, that's not, like, super important to us. We just want to get the best food that we can for the money we have. And this was $5.99 for a five-pound bag, so it's a little over a dollar a pound. I also got this um, rice cauliflower. I've always wanted to try it. It's like the thing right now, so I thought it'd be fun to try since they had it. And it was $3.99 for two pounds. So it was about $1.99 a pound, which I thought was a good price. The next thing we got was the avocados, and they were not that great of a price. It was $7.49 for five, but these are the really large Haas avocados. So it's, I think, equivalent to getting 14 or 10 other avocados. So, I mean, it is an okay price, but I'm, like, dying for avocados, and I did not want to go to another store. So I picked up these avocados. I also got mushrooms, and these are how much? 24 ounces of mushrooms, organic mushrooms. They were 4 dollars 
I'm a huge mushroom lover too. I got these tortillas. There's two packs of 20 in the tortilla bag and they cost, let me see. My receipt is like huge. You have no idea. $3.49, which I thought was a really good price. We'll put one in the freezer and one in the fridge and we use these for quesadillas. This sourdough bread is a really, really good sourdough bread. It's just, I don't know, one of our favorites. It was $4.89 for two loaves. Then we got the log cabin syrup. This is going to last us a really long time. It's my husband's favorite. It was $6.99 for two of these really big, let me see, 64 ounces. So that's a really good deal. Then I got the Prego. They are two 67 ounce jars. So that's like a lot of Prego sauce. I wasn't sure if we had any sauce, so I just got some just in case. It was $7. Then we got our favorite pancake mix. You can use it for pancakes or waffles. And that will last us a really long time. It was $5.99. We also got these Olive Garden croutons. Um, they are two pounds. And they cost us, let me see. Everything's all mixed, $4.99. And then we also love these tortilla chips. This is one of our favorite things. We always get this at Costco, three pounds of tortilla chips. It was $4.49, and that is just a really good price, and they're really delicious. So that is all of that. I'm going to take you on the floor because I don't want you to see my super messy kitchen. <laughs> but um, over here, these Welch's fruit snacks, it comes with 80 pouches. They are my kids' absolute favorite fruit snacks. They will have those above any other fruit snacks. They don't care if it has princesses on it or minions or whatever. They just really like these fruit snacks. And they were, let me see if I can find it. Man, I need to be more organized, but I like don't even see it on my receipt. Honey, do you remember how much the fruit snacks were? I didn't even look, maybe. Hmm. We'll have to come back to those. I think they were like $9.99. I think it was like 10 bucks for the fruit snacks. I'm going to go with 10 bucks. That sounds right. <laughs> um, the Uncrustables, those are fun for my husband to have at work because sometimes he doesn't have time to sit down and eat. So this 18 pack um, will last for a while. You can just put them in the freezer. I'll put them in a lunchbox and they'll be thawed by the time you go to eat them. My daughter also likes taking them to school. And those Uncrustables were on sale for $7.29. So that was a really good deal. They were on coupon this month. Um, I also got this macaroni and cheese, and it was $13.29 for 18 boxes, so this will last us way longer than a month, and they're less than a dollar a box, so we got um, some mac and cheese. Let me go under my stove, because my stove is super dirty. You do not want to see it. <laughs> Trust me. This is our protein um, type things. I got these two dozen eggs. The eggs are a pretty good price there, too. Two dozen eggs were $3.89. Um, I got this organic tofu. It comes with four packs, and that one was $5.59, so just a little over a dollar a pack. I got this chicken breast. It is 20 pounds, and it was, no, it's not 20 pounds. It was 10 pounds for $20, so they're $1.99 a pound. Hush, honey. Let's see you do this. Um, next, we got these Tyson Panko Chicken Nuggets. The chicken nuggets were on a coupon as well. They were $5 off. So instead of $11.99, they were $6.99. So we picked those up. Um, I also got this um, thing of organic black beans. It comes with eight cans. And it ended up being less than a dollar a can. Let me find it. There was $6.49 for eight cans of organic black beans. So that was a really good deal. Um, one of our other favorite items from Costco are these wild Alaskan salmon burgers. They are so good. Um, my husband likes them as a burger. I just like them grilled up with some rice on the side or some veggies on the side. That was like a big ticket item. It was $15.99, but it is our favorite. We'll always pick that up when we go to Costco. We also got this chicken to have for dinner tonight or tomorrow, and it was $4.99. We stocked up on some string cheese. This string cheese comes with 60 
cheeses, and it was $9.99. Um, we got this Mexican blend shredded cheese, and it came with three pounds, and it ended up being about two sixty dollars a pound, so pretty equivalent to Aldi. Um, it was $7.99 for the three pounds, so that was a pretty good deal. We got some I Can't Believe It's Not Butter, and I believe it was seven something, right, honey? For the butter, seven ninety nine for the butter. The creamer, we honestly we didn't even know how much the creamer was. We just got it because we know we want a creamer. It was seven eighty nine for three, and then this Chobani Greek yogurt I thought was a really good buy as well. It ended up being about fifty cents a yogurt, which I thought was great. It was fourteen ninety nine. And you get 20, 20 yogurts for $14.99. So I thought that wasn't bad. It was less than a dollar a yogurt. So, yeah. That's just everything we got. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It was $10.99 because it was $4 off. So $10.99 for 20 yogurts. So it was about $0.50 cents a container. So this is all of the food that we got from Costco for this month around the kitchen. These little snacky type things and all of this. So, yes, we spent $239. We have $61 left for the month. So I will be going to Aldi over the next three weeks to do fill-in items with $20 each shopping trip. So subscribe to see the rest of our monthly haul. And um, subscribe so you can see all of the meals that I'll be making with all of these groceries. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next week with our meals of the week video and our grocery haul. Thank you for watching. Bye. So I just wanted to say really quick that those fruit snacks were $8.99 and we also have a case of bottled water in the car because after six trips of going up and down the stairs I just could not do it anymore in the rain. So I just left in the car. It was $2.99 plus $2 for CRV. So that is our complete haul. We also, I don't know if you can see it. Right there, we picked up a whole pepperoni pizza for lunch for the kiddos and for my husband because once you go shopping for all this food and put it away and everything, you really don't feel like cooking and Costco pizza is such a great deal. So we did pick up a Costco pizza. Um, that just always happens when we go to Costco. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. Let me know if you do it too. If you do a big shopping trip and you end up picking up food because you don't feel like cooking or making anything. I always think it's funny how that happens. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week.